Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions in Late Night. Now, I've set the volumes of the game. <laughs> I'm hoping now that this is the right volume level. I should have probably done a test video first, but I dived right on in there and I'm cracking on. Uh, anyway, last time we left off, uh, what happened? I can't remember. Johnny did a bit of riding, uh, Junsu and Mikey. Did they spend the day together? I'm sure they went to the movies and to a meal. Was that the last update or the update before that? I've totally forgotten. <laughs> anyway, Jun Su is getting up now. She, we're in bed. I've fast forwarded it to morning time and uh, Jun Su is getting up. Complaining of hunger, complaining she needs a toilet, complain, complain, complain. That's all she knows how to do. What else is she going to have for breakfast? Some fruit parfait. Lovely. The healthy option for breakfast. I totally agree with you, John. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. You've got to keep in shape if you're a style guru. You can't go around looking all rotund and obese. Not a good impression on your clients. Right, today's update will see one of the six things that Mikey has to do before this LP finishes. I will hopefully fit one of them in. I say hopefully because you can pl you can plan for these things to happen, but hey, the game it throws a spanner in the works somewhere along the lines. I did it the wrong way around. Toilet before Beth. Toilet before shower. Because now her hygiene will be going down. And as she tootles into the kitchen at her own steady pace, she can enjoy her breakfast before she has to go swanning off to work. At the stylist. At the salon, that's the place. Wolfing down her breakfast. Junsu, not one to savour her food, naturally. Always more concerned about wolfing it down. Right, Johnny Fine, what are you doing, Johnny? Improve cooking? Get out on the town. It's a bit early for going out on the town just yet, but uh, you know what you can do? I think your book is almost finished. Who killed Johnny Four? So off his tootles over there. Oh yeah, the last uh, set of updates, he actually mastered the writing skill. Level 10 writing. So, uh, yeah. I'll have him crack on with that. Mikey's still slumbering away. He's ready to rush. He didn't start work. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is a <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Junsu actually run <laughs> run to work, and she's actually clapping and excited. She's been given a personality transplant or something. My good grief! Well, <laughs> not that I'm complaining, of course. Oh, we have another dead fish here. Damn. Really need to start feeding these blighters, don't we? <laughs> oh dear. Has Mikey got a full night's sleep yet? Yes, he's got a full night's sleep. Why is he still sleeping? Get up, lazy bones. Right, she has to perform her job. Oh. Oh. Perform job. New hair colour. That's easy enough. I had some other stylists colour my hair and I just don't like the job they did. The colour seems uneven and the highlights bleed. Anyway, do a better job, thanks. Okay, not a problem. You came to the right person, mister. Junsu knows all about styling. <laughs> At least she thinks she does. <laughs> okay, where are we? Where is this where's this clown that needs his hair colouring? I'm sure we can just about manage that. Uh let's take a look. New hair for Kyle Rubble. Kyle Rubble, come on down! I've... Oh. It appears he's not arrived yet. Well, how did they give us our job? By satellite link-up or something? Get your skates on, mister! Okay, have you scooped out the dead fish, Mikey? Have you fed the fish as well? I'd hate for... Feed him again! Actually, we'll buy a jellyfish. I think it's a jellyfish that died. We'll buy another one. And we'll feed again. They haven't been fed for so long, Barbie, we're going to give them double helpings. 
Bless their hearts. Right, hunger. Oops, a daisy. What the hell's happening here? Fleming, hell, the jobs are stacking up. Gosh, she'll be snowed under before she knows it. Right, Mike, get cleaning. And then, uh, I think it's root pathway for you, too. Healthy options all around. Let's take a look at what's going on here. I'm getting totally complex. Uh, new athletic wear. Okay, perform that job as well. That's not a problem. I'm sorry, John, but something came up, so I'm going to have to cancel my makeover apartment. Oh, you damn fool. That's why I've got another one. Okay. Just because I'm exercising doesn't mean I shouldn't look my best. <laughs> Not that it's hard for me, but you know, I need athletic wear. Alright, lucky for you, you came to the right show. Oh no, she's not here either. Oh, damn you. Causing all confusion around the place. She's gonna wait patiently for the client to arrive. Maybe this is her in the taxi. Well, this isn't great, do it work? People are ringing through the jobs and they're not even turning up. Oh, I hear something. I'm so sorry, Jim. I'm going to have to cancel my offer. Oh, <laughs> fit to swear here. Who dares mess me about? Okay, she can slack off today then. I'm a, I'm a fuss. I ain't fuss. You can sit there and do what you like, Jim. Your appointments are cancelled on you. It's not your fault. You've turned up at least. You've done your part. <laughs> Johnny Five, look, his book is almost finished. Another bestseller, no doubt. Right, Mikey's done. So, it's 10 o'clock. Mikey starts work at 2. He's got a bit of spare time on his hands. Now, I think Mr. Johnny Five is going to have to come over here because uh, these two poor souls, I say two poor souls, he's perfectly fine. I say one poor soul here. Do robots have souls? I don't know. I don't think they do. But anyway, this poor soul here has been neglected for so long here. He's been neglected, ignored. When he walks down the damn corridor, Mikey starts coughing and spluttering and shouting and Ooh, uh, robot. I think it's about time they actually got to know each other a bit better. So, uh, some spend some quality time with each other. Bit of chitty chatting. Maybe watch the TV. Maybe play some foosball together. You know, what else is a, you know why should they uh, live in the same house and be strange? It's, it sounds totally ridiculous to me. In fact, I don't think he even likes Mikey. Look at that. Almost enemy status. This is just terrible. They've got a long, long way to go to get that... to fix that... Uh, fix that status. So, uh... We'll start uh, working towards it. Look, see? As soon as he sees him, watch, he'll freak out now. Ooh! Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Shut up, Mikey. I'm gonna slap you in the face. <laughs> And then poor Johnny starts going, Aah! Okay, right. Let's start talking. Ooh, oh, uh -uh. <laughs> this is going to be an uphill struggle. We can see it coming from there, right? Talk about art. Ask about book. Chat. News about wedding. Bit of gossip. A praise. Rise of England. A glorious book indeed. Uh, talk about books. Talk about cooking. Oh my god. Maharb. Ah, lovely. Look at that double plus points. Huh. Having fun, John? Oh, I'll be chatting to. This is an easy job, isn't it? Just turn up and have a gossip and watch, look at a few paintings. Where can I sign? Fubu Narple Darp. Far Bazam. Shab Kazazim. Or Kor Gaja. Oh, Naka. Zawalai. 
Glexa Farben Steep. Oh. Oh, Garbzo. Let it go well. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, Darnie Yar, Zim, Hotspot Aquarius, Zim R, Jeep, Johnny Safasim, Z. Okay, is it shipping a little? You are seventy well. Zorbu Bonful, Cormidor, Shabza, Vinga. <laughs> you can. Uh -huh. So this is the first time they've actually stood and talked. I think this is the first time they've actually stood and actually talked to each other for longer than about five minutes. For the first time. I mean, Evan Jones got this robot as a special, as a present for Mikey Jones. Anyway, what should we say? Let's take a look. So uh, we're gonna uh, chat, and he's gonna compliment Mikey's cleverness. He's got a gossip as well. He's got a, a praise fantastic book though. Show off features. Okay, yeah, he's gonna show off his features. Talk about art. I don't think Mikey likes art. Talk about books. I don't think Mikey likes books, but anyway, we'll see. And then we'll start going into funny, some funny stories. Okay, that's about right. Zeep, Sasha Mahim. Zabni Glad, Sasim, E. Saz. Razi Mabs. Oh, our time of Fred. Zebby. Jazipto, Mabazibi, Rabi Geek. Mahepto, Wubi Z. Lurtzibi, Mabazim. Oh, talking about a wedding, maybe? Zego wedding bells? I think it's coming. I think it's getting excited. Ah, Dr. Mm hmm. Ha ha. Okay, I'm gonna show ya. Mm-hmm. Snack, snack, Shut up, I'm not going to let you I'm talking to my robot. Ma, Dani. Lobni Pasi Patum, Saha. God's all need. For Bazoog. For Zazigaduk. Meek. Blue Blick. Nis. Lahapkadu. Laharga Keep. Taga. Sebi. Mior Pata. Largdi Yar. For Bidorg. For Moob Zaziba. Oh. My kid getting right into that story, wasn't he? Dramatic indeed. Right, I gotta go. I gotta part as a burglar. Well, now that is... We're, we're making progress, slowly but surely. They're now in the positive green, which is great. Absolutely great. In fact, it's probably the closest to a friend that poor old Johnny Five has got, so... Uh, now that he's all talked out, I think he needs to go to the toilet. Clean until pristine. Uh, then mop up the puddles first, maybe. <laughs> He's a bit of a clean freak. I think Mike is pretty close to getting a promotion. Oh no, he's not even close, is it? Ah! He has a script to read to assist with performance. go, mop up puddle, then use toilet, scrap, first, then toilet, for hygiene purposes of course. She's still pretty, she's still messing about. Yum, 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 yum. And then maybe clean the house. Maybe he'll clear the house with a spring in his step. Now that he's on almost good terms with Mikey Jones. We'll have to find out and see. Right, I think it's time to... Uh, I think it's time to, for Jun to find her own work. She can't stand around all day. Mm -hmm. She's going to stand here doing nothing. She might as well go home and do nothing. So uh, 
I think it's time to uh, give somebody a makeover. I think Arya Trill's looking a bit droopy, a bit frumpy. I think she's in need of a makeover. So, uh, oh, we can't. Who's bust around? Is that bust around? Yeah, that is bust around. Bust around. Oh, for God's sake. Seriously, mm -hmm. past finding issues in this place. Right, Buster. You're looking old and decrepit. Time for me to transport you into the past. Take years off you. <laughs> looking forward to it. Right. We'll just do a quick makeover. Off yeah, camera, because yeah. we've come to the end of this part now, so join me in the next one where we shall have made up Mr. Buster to be a look, look a bit more sprightly, and we shall continue with the day. See you later.